All right, well today I just got the Shark Navigator Pro. See that? Lift Away Pro, excuse me. And it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces and two attachments. This is the one piece, this is the bottom piece. Uh, and I have the hoses and the attachment and then that thing. So looking at, in at the instructions, it looks like you simply put the bottom piece or the suction container where on top of the bottom piece, like so. Let's see here. Uh, I mean, it looks like it just sits on. Just like that. Okay, cool. So there's that. Now, okay, that goes up. This next part looks like it's. Huh. Turn that stop. Looks like it's this piece and this piece. Supposed to sit. I'm oh sorry. On here, just like that. So far, so good. Then this last piece. This goes on the top. And this goes in here somehow, which I'm gonna have to figure out. Looks like there's these little clippies. Oh. Oh, that's pretty simple. All right. So, in about two minutes, I just put my vacuum together. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, wait, I'm missing a part. Hmm. Okay. This piece, which is the holder stuff, is going to go on here somewhere. Oh, sorry. This piece actually goes on first, but it's okay because this just comes right off. And it looks like it goes this way. It can only fit on one way. And it just sits in there like that, I think. I mean, it looks like it. There it goes. Like that. Then your hose. Okay, like that. And it looks like your dust pan. Your two attachments go on the one. And it actually indicates two. I don't know if you can see the dust brush on the top and the service tool crevice excuse me <laughs> crevice tool I don't know if you can see that or not so dust uh, dust on the top I mean to me this would be okay you just have to kind of push up on it and that's it uh, yeah, so that didn't take too long uh, to put together. Now I do have this extra piece here, which is the, what is this, the Shark Pet Hair Power Brush. I'm not quite sure where that goes, so I'll have to look into it. I would be a little upset if it didn't have a place to put this because this is going to be a pretty big thing. So, alright, well, I will uh, look into this some more and let you all know. Alright, well, I did a few passes on my carpet <clears throat> and uh, I got this nice ball of hair. In case you didn't know this, I have a dog and two cats. Um, 
I started working on my steps. That's really the reason I bought the shark. Um, was for its uh, lift and away feature. Uh, I can't stand my steps being as dirty as they are because I have a black cat who tends to stay on them. So anyways, I did the steps till I felt that it was kind of full. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it. The one thing I'm noticing, unfortunately, is that hair, especially, I, I think if you're a, an animal person, hair tends to get stuck right above that max fill line. There's actually this little plastic thing here. I don't know if you can see it or not. And it kind of gets stuck over top of that. It's really not too big of an issue. Um, I'll try and do this one handed. There's a spring loaded if you can see this or not, a spring-loaded switch here that all you have to do is just press it and it just pops open. Okay, uh, again, you know, that the hair that I was just telling you about that gets stuck is it's still up top. Now, let me just close that and all you have to do to close it is just push it up against and it, it'll lock it. Okay, I don't know if you can see it locks it. Now the top stuff, this stuff, what I noticed is there also is another release button up top. You just press that and lift. Okay, that allows you access to the top. I don't know if you can see in there uh, in that wad of hair. Um, but the nice thing is there is a handle on the side so that you can tip it. Now this is probably easier to do uh, with two hands. So most of that hair fell out. There's still some left here. Let me just shake it a little. There it goes. Okay. So that's all out. Uh, now I'm just going to show you the living room. Got pretty good. I must say there's the bottom half. I am up on the steps. And unfortunately I don't have really good lighting. So you're not going to be able to see too too well it's still a little dirty. Um, now I only did the tops of these bottom steps instead of the tops and the sides. And then about this step right here, if you can tell, I started uh, going left to right instead of back and forth with it and they seem to have gotten really good. Um, that is not shadow, that is actually hair on that step. Uh, let me just let me just set this on here. It just sets on and you just attach it with these little tabby thingies like that on the one side. And there's actually another one here. You just and that's back on. Okay. So I want to try and show you this. Let me leave it. Uh I'm just going to set this down. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a flashlight to better illuminate. See all that? That's actually hair. Uh, and even on this step down here, I don't know if you can tell. See, I did go over these. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to go over these again. I did go over this one, and I didn't really notice because it's so dark that there's still a lot of hair in here. And I have been using the pet hair power brush to do these steps. So I'm going to try finishing up and see maybe there's a technique that I haven't figured out yet or what. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I did do some steps uh, and some steps I didn't do. I actually took a before photo and when I'm going to done, I'm going to take an after. Uh, for the most part, I would say it got a lot of hair. Unfortunately, there's still some that I can see like kind of stuck in the carpeting. Oops, sorry about my flashlight. Uh, uh, so I'm not thrilled. 
with the pet brush because again that was that and the fact I was detachable that I could do my stairs uh, was one of the really the top reasons why I got it um, so yeah the, this step here I don't know if you can tell again on this I mean kind of to the left it looks like shadow that's not shadow that's hair okay that's all hair uh, all these I got one five steps here that I have to do yet and I did take a before photo I will take an after photo and post them um, so yeah that uh, I'm not too thrilled with the pet part but uh, you know it, it's it's decent and another thing I'm noticing too and maybe it's just my vacuum I don't know the and the parts that detach they keep popping open like it's supposed to clip on there and stay on there and maybe I'm accidentally kicking it up when I go up and down these steps I don't know but I'm not a fan of that that they're opening um, you know there's some more hair in there I'm gonna empty it and again look yeah see again hair is getting stuck on that little piece of plastic thing right there so I'm not too happy about that but otherwise it's not too shabby uh, so I'm gonna finish my steps and take an after picture um, and just to show you too another feature that I do actually like about this pet brush is there's actually it looks like uh, uh, crap I can't think of the word it's not velcro um, satin I'm not quite sure the the, ch the word for it the material but it's this red stuff right here I don't know if you can see it it's, my camera's not zooming this red stuff actually what happens is it balls up the hair it kind of rolls it you can kind of see how it does it because there's a piece of hair right there of course my camera is not focusing but anyways there's a piece of hair right there it kind of rolls it up and when it rolls it up then and that allows those bristles in there to suck it in so you're gonna get like these little long strands of rolled up hair and then you're gonna see them disappear when it gets sucked up so <clears throat> I do actually like that part of it so I'm gonna finish my step and get you a before and after photo alrighty okay so I am done vacuuming using my new shark lifting away uh, some pros and cons uh, I would say the pro is that it does work very well. Uh, the other thing that I do like about it is like they, there is so many ways you can detach it. Like there's all these little different buttons you can use here to detach this and detach that. Like, you know, this says squeeze to remove this hose and there's one on the bottom, squeeze to remove that hose. Uh, here's another thing you can detach. So really, there isn't many places you can't get at if there's a clog, which I'm guessing there's not going to be. Um, the cord is sufficiently long enough to reach different uh, areas in my living room, which is also a good thing. Another thing I like is this top part. When this becomes detached here, this actually kind of swivels. I don't know if you can. So that's nice. Um, let me see. Another pro again is that this pops off the top and as well as the bottom. Some cons. Uh, the hair getting stuck behind this plastic thing. Uh, the fact that the other brush didn't work uh, as well as I had hoped, the pet brush. I mean, it worked, but just not as what I, I, I wanted it to do. Uh, another pro is that it is smaller, and I didn't think that I would like that because of that, uh, the surface area of the brush is smaller. It's about, about a foot versus like 18 inches in my other one. Um, 
but it actually is nice because it fits better in my closet a little bit more um, so yeah the other con that I don't like is it only has these two uh, attachment things um, not the attachments themselves but the fact that there's only two places to put the attachments there's nothing on the thing itself to hold the pet thing so I kind of have to store that separately and it also came with a um, let me get it for you Ugh. it also came with this which would be attached to your hose and it actually cleans up bare floors you it comes with a cloth that you actually attach to these things here and then wrap it around here and then it it not only dusts but it's vacuums as well um, and unfortunately again there's no place to really store this so I kind of have to put it in my closet um, as well so overall I would give this uh, maybe a 7 out of 10 um, and that's only because what I needed to do is the the pet hair removal from my carpeting uh, yeah so that's my view on the pro shark uh, again it's nice I don't know if I would pay $188 again for it uh, if it were to go out. There is a five-year warranty, which is, again, a, is a, a nice thing as well. So, oh, oh, and the other thing, too, was when I was doing the stairs, I did notice when I was going up the stairs, what would happen is this would catch on the step, and this would just pop open as I was vacuuming. So I didn't like that too much. I wish they would have uh, maybe had it the other way, that it p pushed down so that it wouldn't catch on things as easily. Um, uh, I do like the fact that uh, this switch here, you can go to the brush being on and turning it off and just a simple switch uh, when you do your bare floors. So that is my shark back and I will again post a picture of my before and after on my steps. and. Uh, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks.